Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, you know, I've been pretty busy as of late, so I've been having a hard time keeping up with the pace of my videos. Um, I figured maybe while I'm working here, what I could do today is show you a video on how I shoot my videos. <laughs> it's cold outside in the wintertime. It's really hard to shoot outside, <clears throat> which is why I've chosen to shoot here in the kitchen. Look at the beautiful light, the way it comes through all that glass. And I'm shooting a video for Tom DeShare. He's a, an importer here in Pennsylvania that I've been working with and I do some video advertisements for his products. Blackberry Wine from St. James Winery. At one point in time, I used to uh, do the tastings on camera and talk about the wines, but we found that that was just not um, working for today's video viewers. Most people don't listen to sound anymore, especially if it's on social media like Facebook. Um, they'll leave the sound down and we'll just kind of scroll past. So it has to grab their attention without any sound or without any talking in it. So this here is my tripod. This is what I use for almost every video shoot that I've ever done. And it's got two features that are really important to shooting pretty videos. One of them is a slider. This is a really uh, cool video slider that allows for some really cool cinematic effects. And then we have a fluid head here. This is a fluid swivel head. And it's got a really nice fluid action to it so that I can do like real slow pans on the camera. I just want to show you my gear real quick. Since I can't take a picture of my camera with the camera, I'm using my cell phone. So right here, this is a boom mic, very cheap, $99. That's what I use when I'm uh, interviewing people or I want to just interview a subject or get some sounds that are like directly in front of the microphone. Otherwise, I'll use a lavalier that clips onto a person's lapel. And uh, this camera here, this is my workhorse, man. This has been with me all over the world. This is a Canon 70D. A couple of years ago I paid I think $1400 for it and I've used one lens and this one only for every shoot that I've ever done. This is uh, an 18 to 135 millimeter lens. And the reason why I love this camera so much is because it has an autofocus feature on it. <clears throat> you don't find that very often on these high-end SLRs. So when you're shooting video I can tap on the screen here and change the focus of the subject. And this also tracks faces, which is awesome because when I'm shooting by myself, I need to make sure that the film, the footage is in focus. Now that you've seen my equipment, it's time to start shooting some videos about why. Let's do it. And it's always really important with the screw cap to show people that it's a screw cap because in the wine world, uh, consumers are attracted to that. that lets people know that this is a simple wine that's easy to appreciate. And it's equally important to show people the wine being poured because they want to see the color of the wine. So let's do that. You may notice in a lot of my shots that I leave a lot of space off to the side. That's because we're using a lot of text in the video. Stuff that people can easily read without having to turn the volume up. So I make sure that when I do my shoots, I always leave a little margin on the side. It's always a good idea to get uh, lots of different types of shots just to keep it pleasing to the eye and so that people don't become fatigued watching the video. So I'm going to climb up on this little step stool now and I'm going to get some shots from the top of the glass. Uh, see that with the sunlight now? I'm getting that beautiful color in the glass. This is a nice shot right here. I like this. So I want to make sure that there's a couple seconds of the back label. I always try to make sure that I get a little swirling action in here because uh, it makes it feel a little bit more human. So that piece of the video is explaining and kind of introducing the wine. Uh, but with sweet wines like this, a lot of people like to dabble and mess around with drinks. So we're going to make a cocktail using this wine and I'm going to show that as a second part of the video. <laughs> I just looked at the clock over there. It's like 11 o'clock in the morning and I'm drinking wine already. Hey, I love my job. What can I say? I have to shoot when the light is good. So a lot of times, I mean, I'm not even showered yet. Look at me, I'm a mess. But this is the way you have to work. You have to shoot when the opportunity is there, right? Cheers. Now we're gonna introduce a cocktail to the mix, right? So we have to move the viewer from the wine, which we've already talked about here in the foreground, to the cocktail stuff in the background. And that kind of takes us from one subject to another visually, right? I've left plenty of space over here so we can put text in to instruct the person how to build the cocktail and I want to leave this glass in the same exact place and stop and start the camera sort of like a little stop action thing and the glass is going to progressively fill with all the ingredients 
Or at least that's the hope. <laughs> See, this is where the problems start. One, and a two, with the wine, and our seltzer water. Now I'm gonna change angles and I wanna get some of that beautiful fizzing. And I wanna show this uh, juicy lime being squirt into the uh, cocktail, cause a hey, juice is attractive, right? Okay, so we have all the footage we need now at this point, but we have to edit it together to make a story, right? That's where all the magic happens. So I'm gonna go down into the studio and show you what I do down there real quick. All right, so this is my editing studio slash wine cellar. <laughs> and uh, this is where all the magic happens. This is where I do most of my editing. I use Final Cut Pro 10 on an Apple iMac. You can see here, these are all the clips that we shot upstairs in the kitchen. And now I have to screen every single one of them. Sometimes there are hundreds and uh, I go through each one of these clips here and I look for the best part of it. And I take that and I put it down here. This is what they call the timeline. This is essentially where your story, your video is being put together clip by clip. And uh, you know, the way you edit those clips, the way you put text over top of your screen to tell the story. And then eventually this green line down here, this is our music soundtrack. That really sets the tone for the entire video. I love this. But this process can be really long. This can take me anywhere from two to three hours to a full day, depending on how long the video is. Eventually, this video is gonna end up to be less than a minute and a half long. So, a lot of work for a minute and a half, right? Oh, I should probably uh, give you a little teaser of what the video looks like, right? Check it out. You're probably going to want to see the final product now, right? So I'm going to leave a link right about here. Click on that. That'll take you to the final video. I'd love to hear your, hear your feedback, uh, what you have to say about the process or just about the, the video in general. Okay. Thanks so much for your input and for your continued support, guys. Stay tuned. More wine, spirits, and food videos on the way. I promise. Cheers.